I'm going to cover one more test route for Bolton Test Center. I'm coming out from the car park. I'm gonna turn left. So when I'm coming out from the car park, Bolton Test Center, I will turn left. I will keep you mostly with the navigation. Navigation will guide you and I will guide you where you need me, my help. There are few places where I will guide you and if you know the area, easy for you to pass. Let's start from here. So I'm moving off, checking all my blind spots, coming out from test center. So checking send on the left mirror, indicator left. And don't rush when you're coming out of the test center because there's a giveaway and there's a roundabout on your right hand side. to be very careful when you are coming out from Bolton Test Center. No need to rush. We are going straight and turning left at the lights. I, I will keep you mostly with the navigation. After 300 yards, turn left. So 300 means three football grounds approximately. One football ground is approximately just over 100 yards so if you can't assess 100 yards 200 yards you can assess football left. there are few variations on this test route Sometimes you will drive 20, sometimes 30, sometimes 40, sometimes 50. That is why you need to be very, very careful on this test route. So you need to keep your eyes wide open. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout, third exit. So we are turning right onto the roundabout. What we will do, we will check our center and the right mirror. We come near this center white line signal right whenever you're going right onto the roundabout or beyond Go 12 right o'clock you roundabout. give right indicator Third and exit. priority to the right if nobody coming right we'll go otherwise we will stop so after this taxi no one else is coming so i'm all right to proceed be careful when you are taking roundabout your indicator may cancel so you need to give indicator again so this is second exit so checking center left mirror coming down to the left Ahead. now you need my help here so when we are crossing this bridge there will be a sharp bend we're going straight so keep your car left hand side if you're going right you will keep right and at this stage road, turn left. see i'm then taking this bend the and right. there are two arrows on the road right arrow going right left arrow going left at this point turn you need left. to keep your car then left hand lane the Right. As soon you come to the left hand lane, you will move over to the right hand lane because left hand lane will just go left. This is very important to understand. You can see there is a central park on your left hand side. So when we are coming left here, as soon you come left here, check center and the right mirror and move over to the right hand lane. So move over to the right hand lane at this point because third traffic After light at the third traffic light we are turning turn right. right. Then so if you are not moving there you right. may have a chance to move over from here. But if you couldn't move over for example if you are in a wrong lane don't force other road users to take your room. Carry on in a wrong lane examiner will not fail you. He will redirect you to the route and then he will bring you back on the route. But if you force other road user to take make little room, then examiner will fail you because that can be as a dangerous fault. But if you keep your car after that bend left hand lane and as soon as you come left, keep your car right hand lane, you will be all right. I hope you understand. So these lights we can't turn right because we just can go straight. And at the next light we're turning right. So we are already in a right hand lane. Even then we are signaling right. Turn right. Then to let oncoming ahead. traffic know. Keep right. But we got our filter light on, so we are alright to turn right. When you're turning right, keep your car left hand lane here. 
So strictly when two lane going straight, yours is left. Straight yet. Keep right, then turn right. Navigation says keep right because there is a slip road. We can go left as well. That is why he's saying keep right. But technically, when two lane going straight, you will keep your car always in left hand lane. At this point, you can see there are two lane right in front of you and after 50 60 yards they are coming back to one lane if you are keeping your car right hand lane even then there is no issue but if left hand lane is absolutely clear it is good for you to keep your car left hand lane in case traffic on my right hand side try to overtake me after 200 yards turn right so 200 yards mean two football grounds I'm turning right so it's mean at the lights I'm turning right so I'm checking send on the right mirror signal right turn right and I'm gonna stop right in the middle of the junction and I will stop straight I will not stop wonky if I'm stopping wonky then I'm obstructing oncoming traffic that can be dangerous for me now I'm waiting for my opportunity if I got the opportunity I will go or otherwise when this traffic light goes red oncoming traffic will stop and then we go but I got the opportunity before this white van I turn so that's okay make sure when you're turning right you are not obstructing oncoming traffic if you have a chance that you are turning right and you are making oncoming traffic even slower even then examiner will fail you so better to go when it is absolutely safe to go no speed limit is written on the road i will take it as a 30 miles road if nothing is written, take it as a 30 mile After road until unless you see the sign. Yards, turn right. Keep meter away from this park car. And turn taking right. next right, signal right. No one else coming other side, so I'm all right to turn right. Need to be very careful here, two side park cars. We're turning right at the end. This junction is not in the navigation. The examiner may tell you to turn right because navigation will not speak up here if you are with the navigation. point where possibly examiner can tell you to pull up on the left so we're going to check center on the left mirror indicator left make sure you're not stopping on this bus stop just avoid this bus stop avoid these two driveways and just stop before these two driveways neutral handbrake cancel the indicator and off the pedals an examiner may order you to move off again when you're comfortable so because ball is in my court now, examiner mentioned me that I am I have to move off when I am comfortable. So I have to be careful. I need to check all my blind spots. Start from my three quarter panel on left hand side, center mirror, right mirror, right hand side over the shoulder indicator. No one else is coming, and now gonna proceed. I hope you understand when examiner say pull up on the left and move off. If 
navigation not saying anything you keep going straight until unless navigation says something. at the end of the road turn left then turn left so at the end of the road turning left and left again this is very crucial because as soon as we turn left lane will split into three lanes so two lanes going straight only far left lane will go left so as soon as we turn left, turn left we keep our car left, left hand side remember we are turning left onto Bradford Street and then keep your car left no need to bring your steering back left, left and then left here onto dual garage and stop behind any vehicle where you can see tire and the tire mark of car in front if you go too close to the park car in front you will fail your test you need to stop where you can see tires and the tarmac. Why we stop this much away? We stop this much away just in case if somebody hit us from the back, we can not hit with the car in front. Or if other car broken down, for example, if car in front broken down, we can overtake this car easy. That is why we have to stop where we can see tires and the tarmac. Now because we are joining dual carriageway and there will be a 50 mile speed have a good quick glance onto the right hand side there may be somebody coming nobody coming so we're gonna speed up here because we are joining high speed roads so we need to be have a high speed here so indicator right there's a giveaway if we got the opportunity we go otherwise we stop so no one else is coming so i am all right to join the This is 50 miles. We can't do 50 because drive car in front is not going 50, so we are alright this speed. But if road is clear, keep up 50 miles. navigation not saying anything keep driving the car straight and don't look onto the navigation if you want to make sure where you're going just have a quick glance on the navigation don't take too long to look just have a very little glance to make sure where you're going see this red Kashkai is trying to join us Exit we join it. but for example if we would have been closer to this red one we would carry on going we don't need to slow down if you try to slow down at this stage then that can be dangerous for driving behind if anybody is trying to emerge he will stop on a giveaway line Still 50, everybody going 50, we going 50. We got absolutely nearly three second gap with the car in front. Three seconds mean three cars. Two second gap means two seconds, two cars. So here we got two seconds gap at the moment. Always make sure you got a reasonable After gap with the car in front when you're going to the exit, high then speed. Go right on the roundabout. Now navigation is mentioning us we are taking next left. So when we are coming on to the left, the navigation already mentioned us we're going right on the roundabout. Go right on the roundabout. Center and the left mirror, indicator left, and 
when we are leaving this dual carriageway, because we're going right, we keep our car right hand lane. As we are following Farnworth, so we signal right, keep your car right hand lane. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout, third exit. Go right on the roundabout. Always slow third down, exit. drop to second gear when you're approaching on a roundabout. Then first gear and stop where you can see tar the tarp mark of car in front. Priority to the right, too much traffic coming, so we will be very careful. Always priority to the right on the roundabout. So we're taking third exit. Now I'm waiting for my opportunity. At this point, you need my help. You can see there are one lane at the moment. So I am coming in this lane and I will not go in these chevrons. I will go after these chevrons in right hand lane where 6053 is written. And keep your car far left hand lane. Far left hand lane take here. The exit. And then we're taking and next right. left. So we're checking center in the left mirror, indicator left. And we are leaving here 6053 as we're going far north. And keep your car right hand lane here. Don't keep your car left hand lane. You can rewind this video and watch again and again. Don't keep your car left hand After lane because left is just going left. Yards, as right. soon as you are leaving that roundabout, you keep your car right hand lane. When you're leaving 6053 Farnworth, you need to keep your car right hand lane. Remember that. And remember what we have done on to the roundabout. When you are coming on a roundabout, there are few chevrons so you need to keep your car away from them and then after those chevrons you need to come back to the right hand lane you need to rewind this video and watch again and again we're going right oncoming traffic got the priority here right. but this traffic light is just two ways so we are all right hope you understand what I mean on a roundabout if you don't you can rewind the video and watch again you definitely need to watch two three four times because that's quite difficult to deal with that is the place where so many learners they fail sometimes too many park cars on your left hand side we need to be a meter away from all these park cars why are we keeping a meter away because somebody can come quick from these cars or somebody can open the door that can be disastrous So again here, this left lane will go left and right hand lane will go straight. So because we're going straight, navigation is not saying anything. It's mean we're going straight. So you keep your car right hand lane again here. In case by mistaken, if we end up in a left hand lane, we will just keep going left then. We will not try to force other road users to come back to the right hand lane. If you do so, examiner will fail you. So if you're in a wrong lane, just carry on in a wrong lane. Navigation will redirect you or otherwise the examiner will redirect you, but he will not fail you for that. He will fail you if you do danger move while pushing other people. I hope you got my point. This test route is nearly nine miles, eight and a half miles exactly. We have done nearly six After miles. 300 yards, turn left. So two 
few more miles to go and there are few situations to explain i will explain you when they come so going left at the lights so we're checking center in the left middle left. indicator left you need to check left nicely because there is a cycle lane on your left hand side so there can be any cyclist so you need to be very careful mean it is all right to keep my After car near this white line into the center right. so i'm keeping my car near to this center white line because of my action driver behind no i may turn right so so i will keep following this and after this junction at the lights turn right so i'm signaling after this junction turn right again here i will stop just anywhere here I will not stop wonky. I will stop straight. If I stop wonky, it's mean then I'm obstructing oncoming traffic. So I will keep waiting until my filter green light appears or otherwise when this traffic light goes red, oncoming traffic will stop and I will move before other side of the traffic will move. After this silver taxi, before the van, I think I am alright to move off. I hope you understand how you are cutting the path of oncoming traffic. If that white van would have been quite fast, I would not go. But because he was quite slow and I had a reasonable room, it was quite safe for me, so I did it. So same as you will do the same. This is a school zone. When you see amber light is flashing up and down, you will keep your car 20 miles. This test route is very famous after nine o'clock in the morning. And there is possibly a chance there can be a school time as well. So when there's a school time, you will see that amber light is appearing that constantly flashing amber, then you need to drive 20. We can see a school sign again here. So we can see 20 is written when light shows. It is clearly written school 20 when light shows so you need to be 20 when that light shows otherwise this is 30 miles After don't drive 20 if that light is not flashing right. an examiner may fail you for lacking progress we're taking next right so check center right mirror indicator right keep your car near turn the center right. white line and stop before this cycle sign never stop into that cycle box there is a box with a cycle on the road so don't go into that box just stop before same again i'm going to cut path for oncoming traffic i will show you how to yes i got filter light so everybody waiting for me so i am all right to turn Traffic light is quite helpful if you got a green arrow. Test center is not far from here. It's nearly one and a half miles to go, but there are a few more things to explain. I will explain you when they come. Nothing is written, so I will assume 30 miles.
stopping on a pedestrian crossing. There's no pedestrian at the moment, but if it turn on a flashing amber, I'm all right to move off. So we can go on an amber on a pedestrian crossing if there's no pedestrian. yards mean three football grounds now nearly one football ground left so I'm turning left at the lights away from the curb while turning you will not hit the curb if you are turning quite close from the curb then you may hit the curb so normal driving position is inside the white line and away from the curb you need about a meter away from the curb obviously you can't understand After how much you need to keep your car away like go right you got no measuring about. tape to Turn measure exit. a meter just keep as much away from the curve as much no one else try to overtake you from left hand side. So we are coming on a roundabout, turning right. So check in center, right mirror, indicator right. Go right on the roundabout, third exit. We got priority over oncoming traffic if they're going straight. So they're gonna stop, we are turning right. Don't need left indicator here because this was the last exit. Keep going nice and steady. No need to rush here because your test is about to finish. No point to fail your test at the last minute. There are too many parked cars on the left hand After side, so yards, there's oncoming the traffic as well. So you've got a reasonable excuse to drive slow here. Your destination. Now that situation can be very difficult at is at where Cross so many learner drivers they fail. We're going straight. Then we need to figure out if anybody coming right, we will not go otherwise we go and goes a little bit swing and have a good look on a pedestrian crossing if there's any pedestrian you have to stop on a roundabout remember because there is a chippy there can be so many pedestrian crossing people so many people crossing so you need to be very careful and we are turning right here again on a roundabout and then we'll turn left into the test center that is what i was saying so check center left middle going left into the test center so see in that hundred yards there were so many things to deal with like there was roundabout there was a pedestrian crossing on the roundabout and after that there was a roundabout again and then after the roundabout you turn right and then after turning right you need to come left into the test center that is why on that hundred yards you need to be very careful I hope you fully understood. Test center is shut at the moment because of the COVID-19. I can't take you into the car park. Otherwise I could explain you how to do bay parking here. But I have already uploaded one video so you can subscribe my channels to watch my other videos. And that will be helpful for you. If you know the area, it is very easy for you to pass. Thank you very much for watching.